Hello everyone. I'd like to share with you what to do if you're stopped by a law enforcement officer while you're driving. When you first got your driver's license, you were taught to obey the speed limit, stop at stop signs, and don't drink and drive. But what you probably weren't taught was what to do if you get pulled over by a law enforcement officer. So in this video, which is only a few minutes long, I'd like to give you a couple suggestions on what to do. First of all, remember that there are many reasons you might get stopped by a law enforcement officer. It could be something as simple as letting you know that one of your brake lights are out or that you're driving crazy. So even though it's nerve wracking, stay calm and please be patient. You wouldn't think so, but traffic stops are one of the most deadliest situations that law enforcement have to deal with. When we walk up to a car, we don't know who's inside or what's going on in the car, especially if we can't see inside. Because of that, there are certain things that make us nervous, things that send up red flags. And a good plan is just to help each other avoid them. For starters, if you have tinted windows, roll them down, all of them, front and back. We need to be able to see in the car. Also, when you're being pulled over, and as the officer approaches your car, please keep your hands on your steering wheel. Don't put your hands in your pockets or reach for anything in the console or glove compartment. We don't wanna see you leaning over and making any sudden movements or reaching for something under your seat. We don't know if you're going after a weapon or your paperwork, so please just don't do it. Same for your passengers. It's not that they have to put their hands up in the air or anything like that. On their lap is fine. We would appreciate everybody keeping their hands where we can see them. Once we get to your car, we'll give you instructions like, hey, we need to see your driver's license, registration, proof of insurance. At that point, you can say to the officer, hey, my driver's license is in my back pocket, it's in my front pocket, console, wherever it is, is it okay for me to get it? Then wait for our instruction. Don't reach for anything until you're instructed to do so. To make this go more smoothly, one of the things I recommend is having your vehicle registration and proof of insurance together in the same envelope. I personally use a case with a Velcro closure. I bought mine at a car wash. You can get them on Amazon for five bucks. And hey, if you got Prime, you got free shipping. If you keep all of your information in a case like that, you can easily hand it over to the officer along with your ID or your driver's license. And a little hint for those of you that have the last 10 years of your registration and insurance renewals, throw them away. You don't need them. Having to dig through all those papers just makes this whole process take longer. You just need one, and that's the current one. Most of us will ask you if you have any guns, knives, hand grenades, bazookas. Not that you have any bazookas, but hey, it breaks the ice. Let us know if it's in your console, your front pocket, or wherever it is. But for goodness sake, please do not say, yes, I have one right here, and then start reaching for it. Don't do that. Wait for the officer to instruct you on how to proceed. And for those of you that have a CCW that allows you to carry a firearm, let the officer know right away while your hands are still on the steering wheel. We'll give you instructions on what to do. Once we have your license and other information, uh, our dispatchers have to verify that everything is valid. Depending on how busy the dispatcher is with radio traffic and other calls, it may take a few minutes and it might feel like it's taking forever, but we want you to get on your way as soon as possible. So we can, so please be patient. Hey, we understand that getting stopped is inconvenient, frustrating, or even scary. And you might get a ticket and you might get a warning and you're nervous. As I said, we're nervous too. Let's just be respectful to each other so that we can all go on our day when it's over. So the simple rule to remember is just this, no surprises. We have a job to do and we want your contact with us to be positive and we want to make sure that after this stop we go home safely and that you go home safely. But whether you get a ticket or not, remember a ticket is not worth a life, not yours or ours and all lives matter. I encourage you to share this video with your children, your family, your friends to make sure everybody is educated and that we can work together to make traffic stops stress-free as possible with everybody involved. On behalf of thousands of officers, thank you for watching this, sharing this video. Again, we thank you and have a great day.